on this tour okay. and how important it is? Yeah, obviously there's a lot of expectation when spinners do a tour of the subcontinent. Um, just think it's not for the spinner to put the added pressure on himself because there's still 10 match winners in the team, uh, including yourself. But obviously when conditions are in your favour, you're expected to strike. And you know it's not always going to happen that way. And I think it's important that I just do the simple basic stuff, so putting the ball in the right areas and things like that. So from there on in, I don't have a control of what happens from there. As long as I'm doing the right things, um, the, whatever's written in my stars will happen. I think people always say, oh, you South Africa spinner, this, this, that. But I don't believe in accolades till I can look back in my career one day and hopefully say that I helped South Africa get to number one in the world. And obviously, I produced the results and performances to sort of hinder that tag. But for now, I'm still uh, a long way to go uh, from sort of uh, having that uh, expectation of being the you know, best spinner since readmission or what have you. But yeah, I'm taking it one ball at a time, one game at a time, one series at a time. And uh, whilst this is an extremely big tour for the team, it's for myself just to test myself in, in really uh, tough conditions, not just from what we faced with outside of cricket and things like that. But I think in terms of the characters and people that we play against, highly skilled people, the best that they trade in the world. So I think it's a good way to test yourself, your skill, your character, and see how far, uh, how far ahead with your skills you are and can be. The Indian conditions seem to prepare yourself to be able to get to this point. Yeah, I think um, I like new challenges. I get bored very quickly when it comes to having things uh, sort of being monotonous to me. So whenever a challenge is posed, I have to find a way for myself. Uh, I am a person who is sort of OCD in the sense that I will do something till I get it right. Even if it takes me a hundred tries or chance or whatever, I will do it and make sure that I sort of come on top of that. So I think it's a good learning curve as well. I mean, it's not every day that you can sit back and say that, you know, I played cricket here, there and everywhere in the world. So when you do get the opportunity to play somewhere else, you obviously want to make a name for yourself. You want to do well. You want to aid the team. I mean. It's been a while since South Africa have come triumphant in a tournament, oh, well, sorry, a series like this. Uh, and it's a, in the context of cricket, it's, it, the series, uh, it's a series of big magnitude if you look at it. Um, and hopefully we can come on the winning side of things. However, it's going to be a tough task, but uh, not an impossible task. Because I think we've got some fresh faces in the, in the side and sometimes that youth and energy sort of spurs you in the right direction and channeling the energy is really important and yes it's been a tough uh, sort of week in terms of training and acclimatizing to conditions but I mean we've had a vigorous uh, rigorous uh, pre-season in terms of getting ourselves into the, the physically uh, correct shape that we should be so yeah fingers crossed that everything goes according to plan. What is yeah, obviously it would have been nice to have played the full duration of the game, but unforeseen weather patterns uh, is something we can't control. I think from the team point of view, I think it was really good that the batters got a sufficient hit and obviously the bowlers got the workloads. It wasn't an easy wicket to bowl on, neither was it an easy wicket to bat on. Um, but we found a way through it. I think we bowled really, really well, uh, especially in partnerships as well. And then the batters, Temba and uh, Aiden, just show spending time with the crease. Uh, uh, no, having a game plan to the various types of bowlers that they were posed with uh, sort of made them come out on top and uh, they scored big scores. Temba spent a lot of time in the crease. You know, he's a simple player, but he's just, he reminds me very similar to Hashim, even in the way he prepares. He's very uh, structured and uh, he's marks of a great player. South African batters have always been going into the, into the test. Yeah, I think well, Aiden's batting up front with Dean and as soon as you get a good partnership up front, it sort of throws the first punch at the opposition and lots of people find it difficult to come back from that. Uh, but also, if we do lose wickets up front, we know we have the stability of Temba and Faf uh, and Zubair and Tienas uh, to come, you know. And although they're young in terms of the number of matches they've played, they're very experienced and seasoned campaigners back home. And sometimes, the transition from uh, franchise cricket to international cricket, some people find it a lot easier than most. And I think with the amount of years and years of cricket they've played domestically, it sort of shows when they do take the step up. But yeah, like I said, uh, it's really encouraging, especially two youngsters putting their hand up to score runs. I mean, Aiden's only played 20 odd tests, Temba's sort of 35 or so. So still very young, but obviously also still very experienced at the same time. So it, it's, quite, it's positive. And there's a lot of batters that are still going to come to fire, so it's very exciting. The brand that South 
part of it that seems to be back in the team and what is the team like right now? Yeah, I think uh, when we say throw the first punch, it's taking the positive approach so opposed to taking the sort of more subtle approach. I mean, we've got nothing to lose. Uh, we've got uh, everything to gain from this tour. Um, there's always positives that can come out. And uh, yeah, I think the positive brand of cricket that we want to play is just the energy that comes from the younger group that have obviously been the incumbents of the guys that have sort of stepped down. Um, and I think it's exciting. It, it may not pay off now, but it's obviously a succession plan and a process to where we want to be in four years' time. And, you know, with the amount of work that the guys have put in since the previous tour, which was last year, I think it would be very fitting to just bear a little bit of uh, fruits from that uh, coming forward. So my fingers are crossed and uh, I know and, and I'm very hopeful of the fact that, you know, we will shock a few people when it comes to the end of this test series. Yeah, I think everyone's played a lot of cricket. More importantly, it, it's our sort of off-season to pre-season back home. But there's been tours, guys have been overseas playing. So I don't think it's a regard of uh, sort of match fitness in that sense. But like I said, I think we do have, in terms of the balance of the squad, yes, there are some big names that we're playing against. But in the same thing, it's always the underdog title. And it's sort of, you know, it can be working in your favour when you have nothing to lose. Uh, um, it's been done before, uh, if I'm not sure of the year, when South Africa have come here and won a series. Um, so anything's possible. Um, I still do believe we have a really strong chance of winning this. And uh, like I said, the energy is something that's going to probably carry us and hopefully be on the positive side of things coming towards the end of this uh, test series.